Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Roblox Alumni. Here are top 5 racing games in Roblox. Number 5, Speedrun 4. Speedrun 4 is a speedrunning game created by Verse on October 20, 2014. The main objective of the game is to speedrun through different maps and race against the timer. Each level has its own map, and as you advance, it gets more difficult. You get rubies for each level you complete. They accumulate each time you play, so players can repeat levels for infinite rubies. In May 2018, Verse updated the game, replacing cards with stars and adding level selections, trails, rubies, universes, and more. There are currently 31 levels and multiple universes in the game as of 2020. Impossible Mode is a mode in Speedrun 4. You can select it by earning 120 stars and activating the skull. When this mode is activated, the eyes of the skull will glow pink. Having this mode active earns the player an extra 5 gems after finishing each level. While Impossible Mode is active, the entire screen orientation, aside from icons, inventory, top bar, mouse pointer, and player list will be flipped 180 degrees, with no way of flipping it back. Rage Quit Mode is a mode in Speedrun 4. You can select it by earning 90 stars and activating the skull. When this mode is activated, the eyes of the skull will glow purple. Having this mode active earns the player an extra 3 gems after finishing each level. While Rage Quit Mode is active, if the player dies or resets in any way, they will be kicked from the game. When they are kicked, the reason for the kick will simply say Rage Quit. Number 4, Speed Race. Speed Race is a game created by Master Daniel. It's similar to Versus Speedrun 4, except players can race with other players to get to the end the fastest. Players can vote one of the three maps chosen. The objective is to get to the end of the map the fastest. When a player wins either first, second, or third place, they can reward XPs and tokens depends on how fast they finish. Shop. Players can buy trails using tokens or sometimes can only be obtained by purchasing a mystery box. Trails are listed by three different rarities. This game was chosen for the Smurfs, The Lost Village, and Egg Hunt 2020, Agents of Egg Event. Players can also complete daily objectives to earn reward tokens. Number 3, Ultimate Driving West Over Islands. Ultimate Driving West Over Islands is the third title in the Ultimate Driving franchise and the most popular game under the Ultimate Driving title. It also lands the most popular driving game on Roblox. The game takes place on a small series of islands known as the West Over Islands located along the coast of the state of Delaware. It is the place where the franchise's game passes are sold and is typically the first to receive updates due to its popularity. The game used to be the smallest ultimate driving map until the release of an expansion which added the long oversea route to the toll booth, doubling the length of the tollway. The map contains three large towns, Westover, Palm Shores, and Kensington, as well as two smaller areas, Woodbury, a small village, and South Beach, a modern seaside neighborhood. There is a large tollway that travels to the center of the map and connects the main island, the smaller island that South Beach is situated on, the Angler Island Wildlife Reserve, and a large series of bridges and tunnels that leads to the toll along the Delaware-New York border. Number 2, Pacifico. Pacifico is a famous game made by the creator Sokoto, Philly241. The game is known for its cars while playing and homes. Pacifico has been mostly known for its cars. The cars are based off a fictional brand called Sokoto. Not all the cars in the game are Sokoto models. Sokoto designed their cars to be like the ones found in real life. Philly241 is one of the most known for his work put in cars. They have currently made a fan group called Synergy, known for creating the Pacifico 2 playground game. Philly 2 for 1 added a premium card game pass on January 27, 2017, which adds 6 cars to the game, as well as a Police Extras game pass, which adds 3 police cars in the game. A couple of months after, Philly released the Car Pack Elite and renaming the premium cars game pass to Car Pack Plus on August 14, 2017. The Retro Racers Car Pack was added, which includes 4 classic cars from the 60s to the 80s. The cars were built by Easiest. Nearly all cars in the game are painted differently, however, the player can repaint their car at the garage of the gas station near where they first spawn. This game has also been known for its houses. These houses and buildings are not copied models. Almost everything in the game was made by Philly241. The script of the game is collective. On July 28, 2017, premium homes were added, allowing players to add mansions and empty terrains. Number 1, Checkpoint Racing. Checkpoint Racing is a racing game created by Wingman8. The players of the game race with each other in randomly generated limited open world environments with vehicles. These vehicles range from hatchbacks to sports cars, pickup trucks, off-road cars, and luxury cars. In this game, the goal is to drive through a series of checkpoints and a randomly generated environment to win a race. The checkpoints can be unordered or ordered, which is dependent on the race's round or heat. Even rounds utilize ordered checkpoints, and odd rounds utilize unordered checkpoints. The race map's environment also changes every five rounds or heats to minimize repetitiveness and boredom. To prepare for a race, the player has to park their vehicle in the maroon red painted area of the map. The map will then register the player as a player that is racing, but not exactly when the bright red wall is still raised. Once the given 50 seconds is over, the game will then remove the bright red wall to start the race. Within the last 45 seconds, the game will block off the entry map to prevent last minute entrance. 
Should the player decide not to race, they must exit the maroon red painting area of the game by crossing the entry ramps before the last 45 seconds. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it and like it if you did. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future.